All right, what's going on, guys? It's GSL here. So, um, I wanted to show you uh, what a MIDI is, right? So, um, what a MIDI is, is that you time your attack to hit the opponent just as they're about to get up, so that way it hits on the later active frames, if that makes sense, right? So, if you don't know anything about like active frames and shit like that, then you might want to learn that, so that you have a better understanding of this. But I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, like, if I hit new side out like this, right, and then I have them on auto block. So, as you can clearly see, it's zero on block, right? Normally, uh, Frost is zero on block when she does it at, like, this range right here, right? Now, if I time this correctly, right, you're going to notice that I become plus on block at close range. That's what a MIDI is. The unfortunate part about... Um, this game is that meaties don't really exist all that much. Uh, mainly a down one is like the best meaty option uh, because of like the recovery and stuff like that. Um, which is really unfortunate that that's the case. But the only reason why the meaty situations like this don't necessarily exist um, all the time or a lot is mainly because of the forward roll mechanic in this game. Uh, the four row mechanic pretty much denies your ability to go for a meaty. Of course, you can go for a down one as a meaty, but there are so many different better options to go for a meaty. But because of the forward row, it pretty much denies that ability to do so. So you're always going to revolve around going for like a down one, depending on the character that you're using. So it, it's really unfortunate, but that's pretty much what a meaty is. So like, as you can clearly see, she's zero on block. And then like, when I hit noob sidebar, when I time this correctly, right? all of a sudden she's plus on block. You see that? So, like, this is very important to understand. So, like, if I do it, like, right around this area right here, um, so let me see if I can do it right. See that? I'm plus seven on block, and look how close I am to a new side back. Now, I'm gonna show you something, right? She's only plus three, right? Or plus four when I'm spacing this out and doing it like this. You see that? Right there, she was zero on block. You see, you see, you see the difference. You see how powerful a meaty is. I want you guys to rewind this video back just to see how powerful that was. I became even more plus on block when I timed uh, this attack correctly as the opponent was getting up. However, if I just do this while we're both standing up and the opponent is blocking this, I don't get those type of plus frames. The max that I think she could become plus on is like plus five. Yeah, possibly even plus six, but mainly plus five. Right, and this is pretty much what a media is, where it hits on the later active frames and stuff like that, where you're timing your attack just before the opponent gets up. Um, but like I said, um, medias don't really exist in this game <laughs> because of the forward roll mechanic. It pretty much denies your ability to go for really nice meaty options like this, uh, which is unfortunate because there's a lot of different meaty options that you could possibly go for. Now, of course, if the uh, opponent has no defensive meter then this is possible um but you still have to worry about the delayed get up so you would have to time that right correctly and that's the only way that you'll be able to get something like this out but more than likely if the opponent a smart opponent that knows how to manage their meter correctly aka the resources then going for a meaty against them is possibly not going to happen uh not all the time anyway um probably on rare occasions so the safest option i feel like is this because if i end up whiffing uh, the 4-2 with Frost, uh, the recovery is really fucking high, um, to where you'll end up just getting punished just for trying to go for a meaty because they have a forward roll mechanic, so, um, this is just something that I wanted to, uh, show you guys and help you guys understand, so, like I said, it's pretty much hitting on the later active frames, and then, you know, you become, uh, you know, either more plus or just a lot more safer, um, I could show an example of this for Baraka because Baraka's down four is like, how should I put it? Baraka's down four is like plus one. But when you go for a meaty, when he goes for his down four, well, when you go for his down four again, let me correct myself, uh, he becomes plus two on block. So like, if I hit noob side by here and then try to time it correctly, I become like even more plus on block. Uh, just in general. But like I said, uh, I highly recommend you guys go and rewind the video back, but this is a clear example of it right here. And I'm plus 7 on block, which is very, very good. And the reason why this is very good because I'm in the correct range for my back one. So if you disrespect me, that's what's going to happen. However, you can flawless block, but I could take it upon myself to forward dash and then back dash like this.
to kind of go for like a quick shimmy or like I could just do this and walk in your range and back up to see how you react to that. So it's just a lot of different layers here um, when it comes to something like this, but this is pretty much a medium.